Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my makeup room. So today I have a TJ Maxx haul for you. Also, I'm going to show you a little bit, uh, a couple things that I got in my Ipsy bag, my Ipsy Plus. I am giving some of it away so I don't have the whole box to kind of show you, but um, the things that I do, I will make sure to let you know that they came from Ipsy. But of course, you all know I love TJ Maxx. I'm always going to TJ Maxx and when I can find makeup, fashion, hair care, perfume wise. And I want to show you what I picked up on this last trip of mine. So this here is by C Color. So this is the Unisex 3. This was $3.99. Um, C Color is a brand that tries to um, like copycat other brands. So I think they're trying to copy a Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. I think I'm not sure because I don't have, you know, any of his palettes like this. So in here, you only have two shimmers and the rest are mattes. So you have nice, big pan sizes. So this is great for someone, you know, that loves their mattes. They feel really creamy. The shimmers feel really creamy. You can see those. Let me swatch them. Wow, guys, do you see how good that, that bronzy shade looks right there? I'm excited to give this a go. I do have um, some other CC color palettes, but I don't think I've ever used them. So I really need to get on it and try and use these. So next from TJ Maxx, I found these Eyelore Jasmine Brown eyelashes. I love the eyelashes from this brand, especially when they're like made by influencers. I feel like they make the best ones. So this is Jasmine Brown. I don't know if I said that. And that's what these look like. I'm like, I am totally down for these kind of eyelashes. And that's kind of what they look like on. So you kind of got like that cat eye effect. So I will definitely be putting these to use very soon. I think there's glue in, that comes with these. Let me look and I'll let you know. Yes there is so if you want to get these you know there's glue that comes with it in case you don't have any in those I don't know if I told you $3.99 okay and then so I have been hunting these down and buying all of them that I see this is from steel it's their shimmer shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow and this one here is in vivid sapphire for $5.99 so for that price you know I try to collect all of them and you know I will only buy them from now on from TJ Maxx because once you open these they dry out very fast so I want to I don't know if you can pick up maybe in the light there so it is like a navy blue but there's like some purple sparkle in it so it's kind of like a purpley blue and you guys know how I feel about purpley blues I love them so I'm excited that I found this one here I can add this to my collection then I found this absolute lashes by W7 this was $2.99. I already took it out of the packaging because I had to open it and take a look at it. So W7 is a brand that tries to, again, um, make knockoffs of higher end brands. So I'm like, this looks like the benefit they're real. So I'm like, I don't think I have that mascara, but I wanted to see if it looked like that one and it does it's got the little ball at the end so I'm definitely going to be using this soon put this in my little thing on my desk to make sure that I use it so this is an absolute lashes then right as I was getting ready to leave there was a lady she was kind of um, stalking it and she put this up and this is max 
Studio Finish Concealer SPF 30. It is an NW15. I am normally more NC and more yellow toned, but like I'll make it work. This looks like it should work, right? This is a good creamy high coverage concealer that is super good to put on areas that have breakouts. And this here was $9.99. So I saw that. I'm like, I should pick that up. I do have one right now that's open and use, being used. But it's always good to have a backup. And for $9.99, like, might as well. Okay, and then these here came in my Ipsy bag. So this is from the YC collection. And these are their liquid blushes. Aren't these cute? So this packaging is really cute. Um, it looks like it would be kind of high quality, but it does feel very light and cheap, which is okay. Um, you know, as long as it looks cool, right? I love the baby pink. So this shade here is in watermelon. Have a little doe foot, and these are my kind of shades. They feel kind of serum-y. They feel more serum-y than they do cream. And then this one here is in guava, I think. The writing is really small on the bottom there. Another doe foot. And these are my kind of shades, like those burnt orangey peachy shades. There's those. Very nicely pigmented. They blend out. Yeah, they definitely feel like serum um, blushes. So I'm glad I got those. And then the only other thing that I kept from my Ipsy bag is this Laura Geller Balance, Bake Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation in Lights. So this is made in Italy. These are baked. So there's that. I do love this. If you saw, I used this powder in my latest Get Ready With Me. That one was in medium. This one's in light, which is perfect because we're going into fall winter. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. palette. This is a gorgeous powder to set your whole face with. So I'm glad I have one that is in a lighter shade. Okay, just a couple more things. So I saw this here. This is the Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer. And it is in Mastermind. It was $9.99. So originally I looked up on Morphe because I'm like, $10. I thought that that was super expensive for Morphe and being a bronzer and for it being at TJ Maxx. So I looked it up and it does retail for $19. So, I mean, I guess you got $9 off. It is bigger. And you have a nice mirror. And then that is your bronzer right there. So this is definitely going to be a bronzer that I use in the winter and not in the summer because I'm going to swatch this right next to that Laura, um, Laura Geller. If I called that Laura Mercier, I'm sorry, it's Laura Geller. Right there is that bronzer. So that almost looks like powder on my skin tone, but I will definitely give it a try. Um, it feels super soft and is super creamy, so if worse comes to worse, then maybe I can use this as a powder. But I should have done a little bit more research and saw how light this was and not bought it. But I have it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to try it. Let you guys know. And then lastly, by Morphe, this is a blush trio this here was $6.99 I googled when I looked up that bronzer what this color story was and I'm like that is a gorgeous color story or that you know see that orangey kind of shade in there of course you all know 
I like those oranges. So you got two mattes and a shimmer here. I'm like, this is gonna be a good fall blush trio. You could take this with you, like if you're traveling, you'll have three different choices. Swatch these. There's those. But that is super pretty. Um, I really am glad that I picked it up. I do not have any Morphe blushes, I don't think. I don't think I ha really have any face products. I think I have a couple highlighters, one highlighter or two highlighters that I picked up from TJ Maxx. So I'm excited to give the blushes a go. And I think this is in Pop of Poppy. So there's that. So that is what I picked up from my TJ Maxx. Um, this time I felt like the, it was a little slow. There wasn't a lot on the shelves, but you know, as Christmas time comes around, we're gonna get so much more um, on the shelves and I'm gonna be really excited to show you what I find at my TJ Maxx. So I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.